Alright, hey, Hayes Omega here, and uh, I got another Alter Redshift SM39 video, alright? So what I got going on in this uh, video is I'm going to be installing some handguards for my Alter Redshift SM, alright? Why am I installing handguards, Hades Omega? Well, they look cool for one thing, alright? Uh, Hades Omega digs that uh, handguard look. Pretty much all my bikes have handguards on it, alright? Um, and uh, it's... And the well, the main purpose is I'm trying to get this bike ready to ready for track days, all right, and racing, all right, at, like on cart tracks and stuff. And they want you to have either a handguard or like a bar end slider, all right, some like a bar end weight or something. So when the handlebar hits the ground, it uh, it'll slide, okay. So or you can have a handguard, all right. So um, and not a not a brush guard, all right. It can't be a brush guard. Uh, yeah, if you look. If you look back there, I got a DR650 with the stock uh, hand guards, all right? Those hand guards, those are called brush guards, all right? It's just a piece of plastic that wraps around over the, the levers, all right? So like branch, it branches and stuff, twigs and, and cactuses brush up on your bike, you know, it won't hit your hand, all right? But, uh, but it, it, it doesn't have like a, um, it's not an actual guard, all right? The, an actual hand guard has a, um, a bar going from the end to the middle of the bar, all right? So if you hit something significant, all right, like a big branch or something, it's not gonna, it's not gonna bust the, the hand guard off, all right? If it's a brush guard, yeah, it'll, it'll bust right off, all right? It's not very, uh, I mean, a brush guard is not very strong, all right? Um, so I've, I've tested it at the racetrack and it will slide on it, trust me. <laughs> I had like all these marks and stuff from, from when the bike goes down and stuff, right? Um, so I got these, all right? These are Acerbis, Acerbis uh, X Factory Handguard. All right, I've, I've never used these before. I saw them on somebody's uh, Alta Redshift SM on the Electric Dirt Bike Forum, and I said, "Hey, you know what? That looks really nice." I was gonna usually the handguards that Hayes Omega buys are the Tusk Deflex handguards, all right, because they're inexpensive. But these were only just a little bit more than the Tusk ones, and it's a you know it's a it's a good name brand, Acerbis. Okay. Uh, made in Italy, all right. Some some Italian parts for my bike. Okay, um, and it's a uh, this is the uh, white cover with the red bar color. All right. So as you can see, the Alta Redshift SM came in white and red. All right. So I'm gonna kind of continue that theme: white, red, white, red, and black. I guess the rims are black. I've got the uh, red axle sliders. I've got a black um, foot peg slider. All right, so I've got like all the colors. <laughs> um, Hayes make is color coordinating. All right, um, yeah. And so there's the and that and coincidentally, the my uh, racing suit is white, black, and red. All right, so it's it's perfect, man. Uh, I, it's like it's like a fate. All right, uh, it's a fate that I, I wound up with this bike. All right? Okay, and also I've got uh, some spider grips, spider grips M1 off road grips. All right, I think there's some like pro grips on here right now. These are my favorite grips. All right, and I got them in black and red, just like the bike, all right? They have them in different colors. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see the bar end color because we're gonna cut that off to install the hand guards, all right? And then uh, I've got uh, some power mat hand guard mirrors, all right? So we're gonna, we're gonna ditch these goofy looking mirrors I got here, all right? The stock mirrors, I, you guys can't, kinda can't see them, but uh, um, to tell you the truth, I actually do like the mirrors on the Redshift SM. I, I think they're like kind of big and dorky looking, but they uh, they work pretty good. I've been doing DoorDash with it for a while, and uh, I've I've noticed that uh, they work pretty good. All right, so they do the job. But I wanted something that looks a little sleeker and makes it a little easier to split lanes. All right, because this kind of it it might hit like somebody's mirror or something. Okay, it sticks out a lot. Um, also, uh, I. Um, these are uh, foldable mirrors, all right? You can install them on the, they, what they do is they, they bolt onto the hand guards and you can swing them in and out, all right? So if you, ever, if you get in a crash, the, um, the mirrors could swing inward, all right? They won't break. Um, that, that's the idea behind it. That, and you can fold them in when you ride off road or when you're at the racetrack, right? Because you don't need mirrors when you're on the racetrack, right? Um, and and th these are the same mirrors that I rocking on the um, the Sauron Light V. Okay, so that's how that's where I got this idea from. All right, I've had these mirrors on the Light V for a while, 
and they work okay all right for as a mirror it's not the best mirror in the world it's basically a blind spot mirror and really that's all you need the blind spot just make sure there's nobody right next to you type of thing all right and and they look cool they're both a lot more sleeker they're, it's almost like a bar end mirror why didn't i go with a bar end mirror well because i'm when we're installing hand guards you can't put bar end mirrors if you got hand guards okay so and uh and yeah like i said i'm running this on the Silrod, and i'm really happy with it it doesn't vibrate a whole lot and everything um, they've been working really really good right they're still on the bike after x amount of crashes okay and i don't plan to do a lot of off-road riding with this bike so i don't think they'll, they'll, they'll get broken okay so uh, let's take a closer look at them i'll tell you the i'll tell you the prices of them and then we'll go i'll just go ahead and install them if i have any if there's anything interesting that happens during the install i will uh, i will show it on the video all right all right there it is a Turbies X Factory handguards, all right? They're like a kind of two color type of dealy. Let's see, let's go open them. So I got these for $75 from Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Pretty good. Okay, you can see here the bar color is red and the cover color is white. You can see the the lettering is red, okay? And I, I think you can buy you can buy the cover too if you just want to replace the cover, all right? That's front of the box there in uh, Italy okay Italy Indiana or is that Idaho that's Idaho they got places in in uh, UK USA and Italy all right and it's made out of recyclable material guys okay here's what comes in the box all right they have two different handlebar adapters right for the bike that's nice and then all the hardware right here and this is basically how you install it pretty simple and uh one thing about the uh the redshift sm hand guards are they're ginormous they are super wide i not like how wide it is man it's like 32 inches wide is what i measured it at uh i think the only other bars that are that wide is the ones on my klr and you know for a bike this wide seems okay to have handlebars that wide but this one this bike is so narrow you know i i feel like it's just too wide for the bike um, i may cut them down later or just install a different handle handlebar altogether but we'll keep them at the stock length for now all right um i've kind of started getting used to it but i would rather have the bar like my shoulders width all right or maybe a little bit wider than my shoulders somewhere around 30 inches would be fine so i may cut it down an inch or two so about the hand guards um, let's go open it up real quick so you guys can see what they look like there it is pretty sweet all right uh, you got all the the mounting goodies in here and these are the hand guards they look all plastic that's what aterbys is known for making plastics guys that's their that's their groove all right believe it or not the plastics on this bike are made by a Cerbies, all right? I don't know why they don't sell the... Um, I know this is made by a Cerbies, but they don't make them anymore, unfortunately. You have to buy new old stock stuff, all right? As you know, there's not too much stuff. Um, there's a finite amount of stuff for the, for the Redshift, all right? All right, $75, Rocky Mountain ATV MC. All right, and these are the Power Mat Hand Guard Mirrors. Um, let, me, let me go open them up. Okay, there it is. There, it comes with a Power Mad sticker. All right, one one white and one black. Um, I don't know where I'm going to install that. All right, but that matches the bike's colors, right? Yeah. Well, you would probably want to use the black one. I hate these mega. <laughs> and then there's a hardware installation kit. So what these springs do is they allow you to uh, um, install the um, the hand guards as like folding mirrors. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then these are the actual handguard mirrors. All right, it's got a little arm that you mount on it. All right, I've got a set on my Soron. If you look, if you look back okay, there. Yeah, you can kind of see it on the the mirrors on the on the Soron. Yeah, that's what I'm rocking on the Soron. Okay, and they swivel, so you, that's the way you adjust it. All right. It's, it's it swivels or rotates and like it's kind of at an angle all right so you choose the angle the angle that you can see the best at not the most adjustability but hopefully they'll they'll work <laughs> okay okay and i got these for uh 22 from amazon all right 
I'll put a link where I got all these in the description of the video if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these products. All right, and then this is my favorite grips, spider grips. All right, these are the spider M1 grips. All right, it's kind of like a dual sport riding grip. It has a kind of gel vibration dampening core. All right, we don't really need that on the on an electric motorcycle because it's so smooth, but but I like it. Okay, it's my favorite grip. Uh, they don't last super duper long, but they're all right. Okay, and I got these for 20 bucks, I believe, on Amazon also. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and install these three items on the bike. And then, uh, and then yeah, and then uh, my bike will be ready to go on the racetrack because I've got everything. All right. I've got the... I've got the rear axle sliders, I've got the foot peg sliders, and then I've got the front axle sliders, all right? So all that's left is the hand carts, all right? And then we're we're in business. All right, so he's Mega will go install this. If any, if I run into any interesting installation, uh, I will uh, I will let you know. <laughs> all right, he's Mega. Okay, first thing to do is install the new grips, all right? So we're gonna take the old grips out. All right, that'll be, that shouldn't be too difficult. And then uh, we're going to install the new grips. And then we got to cut the ends off of the old grips. Okay, I've got like a bunch of these spider grip ends with a little spider on them. Yeah, I got plenty of those. So you'll still have the little red part here. So, all right, let's go knock it out. Whew, okay, I got the grip off, man. The, the clutch grip was really hard to get off. These are some pro grip grips. I don't think these are stock grips. Made in Italy. Nice. The ones that are installing are American. American grips for an American bike, right? <laughs> All right. I, for some reason, I think these were glued at the end here because it was not coming off. I could get half of it to move, but the other half wouldn't move. So what a pain in the booty. I think they glued these on. Uh, these might be the stock grips. I'm not 100% sure. I thought the stock grips were supposed to be made by Necken or something. Necken is the one that makes this bar here. Okay. But anyway... The throttle grip came off pretty easily, so there we go. All right, so I'm gonna go uh, and head and cut the ends off of the spider grips, and we'll go install them. Easy peasy. So I'm just gonna use a saw. Uh, all right, this is how far I've gotten, guys. Um, I got the grips on there. All right, the grips were a real pain in the butt to get off and get on the. The throttle grip wasn't hard to get off. It was kind of hard to get on because this grip is really thick, man. I guess maybe uh, other bikes have bigger grips or something. Maybe dirt bike grips are smaller, but there it is. All right, it looks good. It's the same. It's I'm. It's color coordinated. Is all I'm going to say. Right. You got the black, the red, and the white, man. It's it's awesome. All right. We should throw some blue in there so we can have some red, white, and blue. I didn't think about that. I know we should add some blue to it so American American bike American flag right <laughs> anyway so the these hand guards are not as good as I thought they would be all right um okay so here's the deal with this I haven't installed the mirrors yet but we'll get to it um I had to add a spacer here all right I had to make this longer because this is touching this I know what what luck that this has to be right here all right if this clamped like back here or something would be better all right and so that leads me to um you know the uh the wind deflectors or the brush guards are um not very nice on this guys the only thing holding this in are these plastic uh clamps here all right basically there's a a plastic screw here that holds this bar in all right and it's clamped to the the hand guard all right the actual the metal part so there's actual metal in here guys all right it's really strong all right it's like plastic over steel or something really strong really strong mounts too um everything is you know really well made is what i want to say except for this okay i think this is just kind of more like uh for the looks type of thing but it's a hand guard guys it's um if this hits the ground it's gonna go sliding it's covered in plastic okay so that's good it's not gonna gouge up the track and it will slide but typically when i from, from what i've noticed is when the bike goes down this part is what's going to 
um, slide, all right? Just like on my light beam here, man. Look at how much of, how much battle damage this has. <laughs> but like, yeah, right around here is where it will slide. You'll see like all the stuff, all thing here. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But these deflex handguards are actually better, all right? Because they, the way they, they bolt onto the, they actually bolt onto the actual handguard, all right? And I think that I feel that's more secure. These ones are even better. So these are basically a copy of these. Isherby's handguards, okay? Um, these ones are even better. See, they're kind of, they wrap around. It's not even, I don't even know how this is on here. It's like, it's molded into there. All right, and they're really strong. I have a set of these on my KLX, and they've taken a beating, all right? You can see it's not in the nicest of shape anymore. It's, it's, it's been, it's been around <laughs> type of thing, all right? But I, these are like $100 handguards, all right? That's why these cost a lot. All right. In my opinion, these are just for the looks. All right. You're just in it for the looks. Um, this side was not hard to install because there's no nothing here, guys. There's no uh, there's no brake lever uh, or or clutch lever. However, I am planning to put a left hand rear brake in the future, so I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I might go with the ox brake because the ox brake is smaller. There's less stuff going on in this area. Uh, I would like to have a left hand rear brake, but I still I think I would want to retain the uh, the foot brake still. So we'll see. Um, yeah, so this side was a lot easier. This side doesn't have the spacer because I don't need it, but I could add one if I wanted to. All right, basically it's a spacer that I found in my box o bolts. All right, I I collect stuff like that for just in case something like this happens. Okay, and uh, it's basically a longer bolt and the spacer. All right. You can see this bolt is different than this one. Right, this one takes a six mil. Um, okay, and then also you, I had to add these spacers on here, otherwise um, this one in a clamped on here. It's too skinny. This is the part where it starts to get bigger, so it's kind of annoying. Uh, if I cut these down, I know if I cut the bar down, it's going to go even farther. It'll wind up like right here. So I don't think I might. I will cut the bars on this. I'm not sure, man. Um, but yeah, but you know what? I think it turned out good. It looks really nice. Yeah, okay. it's like a white and red. White, red, and black. I like it. We'll go with it. And Hades Meg is planning to get some uh, American flag numbers. All right. So it's kind of like the, the stars and stripes and everything. But I haven't got it yet. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go ahead and install the mirrors maybe. Also, there's a warning, uh, there's a warning sticker here. You guys can read it together. Okay, there's a warning sticker here. Use at your own risk. Check the security device before your ride. This handguard will not prevent injury in the event of a crash. They are designed to deflect cold weather, flying dirt, and small branches you might hit while riding. They will not protect against impact with a hard surface or hard objects during use. Be sure that you will follow the instructions for blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that leads me to believe once this thing hits the ground, the, the handguard will probably fly right off. It'll break right off, guys. This is just a wind deflector, all right? But however, you have this, all right? And this is very strong, all right? It'll also make your handguard stronger, too. So it adds more meat to it, more support for it. So, so yeah. Um, there it is. The handguards are, are on. So now i got to install the mirrors, and then we'll take the old mirrors off. And then... Uh, we should be groovy. Okay. All right, we'll go install this. Okay, stairs. guys, I've done it. All right, there, it's all fully installed now. I've got the Power Mad handguard mirrors. I installed it just like my Sauron light be there. Okay. Um, yeah. So now it's black, black, white, and red. Nice. So that's with them folded in. All right, so I wound up drilling the hole right here. Uh, I thought about doing it here, but you're kind of, it's kind of more like a blind spot mirror here. So I wanted the mirror to be functional, guys. <laughs> so I put it as far out as I could, all right? And it just kind of stops right there, all right? There, it actually, the um, the handguard has like a like the little tower for the thing, and it, it's, it stops it before it even hits there. Okay, so there's that. It, uh, oh, this one almost hits the, the thing. It's it's not quite exactly the same, man. <laughs> it looks close, and it looks so much cleaner, one hundred percent cleaner. This is what it looks like 
when you're sitting on the bike, guys. Okay, yeah, there's big old mirrors, not there anymore. Let's go weigh how much uh, how much weight we save by taking those mirrors. So I took the uh, the mirror mount off, all right? I took the whole mirror mount off. So this side has like almost nothing here except for this stuff right here, all right? And then this one, I um, it was screwed into the master cylinder, so we kind of had to just unscrew it, okay? So, so yeah, it's much cleaner, way cleaner. Hopefully it'll be more aerodynamic and lighter. All right, let's go weigh those mirrors real quick. Okay, here's my scale. Here's the old mirrors. They've got some bug kill on them. It's a one point, one pound, 9.6 ounces, all right? Not that much weight, all right? If anything, the hand guards probably weigh that much, all right, so. But yeah, they do have some heft to it. Man. They're pretty heavy when you pick them up. Okay, so I guess I'll just put them in the box right there. <laughs> All right, so another reason I wanted to get rid of them is because they're all rusted and stuff. That's why I didn't even bother cleaning the rust off of them. I just, I knew I was going to get rid of them, so. Okay, but yeah, there it is. That's how it turned out. I think it turned out great. Uh, the colors are awesome. Uh, I think the Acerbius uh, pla um, plastics, the red plastic, it's like, it's got like a kind of like carbon fiber pattern to it too. That's nice. Um, it's a little too bright compared to the alta red all right it's pretty close this one looks a little darker yeah this is kind of brighter the the grips also it's a little brighter also so that's okay i think it looks good it matches the bike nicely it adds a little more red to the bike so nice okay so i'm pretty happy with how that turned out i'll have to go ride around with it I'm, I'm not going to lie, the old mirrors, I actually did like them, okay? The stock mirrors, they they worked good, all right, is what I want to say. But uh, I might put them on my DR650. <laughs> That's what I might do, man. Um, yeah, I, the old mirrors, the stock mirrors are were actually pretty good. I, I've been using it for the past couple days. And I'm like, hey, you know what? These actually work really well. Um, but they're like a freaking eyesore, man. <laughs> they look so ugly, man. So now the bike looks more like a dirt bike, okay? It looks a lot cleaner look now. Pretty happy with it. All right, here's the view from the back. Okay, and yeah, we got hand guards now. And you got a wind deflector. So when you're riding on the freeway, your hands won't get super duper cold. All right, rocks, bugs branches and stuff um we'll have to see how this holds up if i ever dump the bike hopefully i don't dump the bike in the asphalt i, I will try my best not to crash it <laughs> okay but yeah if it does happen man yeah it's a pretty big bike um i may get a left hand brake sometime so i don't we may have to make this wider right i'm kind of disappointed on the way how this handguard installed it's you know the hardware they give you doesn't work with the with this brake lever here okay there's nothing here so we didn't have to worry about anything so i i left the, the spacer out there okay but i think uh i think it looks great it's um for style points 10 10 out of 10 guys style points all right i tried to make it as functional as i can you know i put the mirrors out as far out as possible it's almost like a bar end mirror but you're utilizing your hand guards as a um as a mounting point for your mirrors all right so it's almost like a hand guard or it's almost like a bar end mirror guys so um the good thing is so if it if you do dump the bike and the mirrors are up that will just happen okay and then when you're on the racetrack, you don't need mirrors. Just fold them in. Okay. Um, how that's going to work out with the aerodynamics, I don't know, right? But it almost follows the contour of the grip. So I think aerodynamic-wise, I think it's it's probably more aerodynamic than having those big old mirrors on there. So, okay. So I, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Um, I will put a link in the description um, where I got all of these parts, okay? If you want to get these parts for your supermoto okay um like i mentioned i needed the i needed the hand guards to get on the racetrack okay guys and it looks freaking sweet dude i'm going to find some other ways to add some more red to the bike all right it's a little more white than it is red but 
with these hand guards, it looks sweet. Okay, for uh, for reference, um, this is where I drilled it. All right, right at the edge. There's a um, there's like a circle here. Oh yeah, there's there's there was one of these circles right around here. That's where I drilled it. Um, I I drilled it so when this swings out all the way, it hits this. All right, and that uses that as a stop. All right. Um, yeah. It just it just install it any way you any way you you prefer. All right, just sit on the bike and put the mirror on there. So the way it goes is you drill a hole. I think I, I used a quarter inch drill bit. All right, and then I use the I use the punch. Or, oh yeah, here I use the spring loaded punch. All right, when I where I got when I got it where I wanted it, I punched it. All right, and then we took actually for this one, all I did was take this clamp off. All right, I think it's a six millimeter. Um, socket and then I, I was able to push this out and move it up enough where I can drill it on top of the um, the handlebar right the, the grip um, this one I actually took them both I took it out all right but this is so close here that I can't do that on this one <laughs> so so I said ah you know what just that's what I did all right I took these two screws out and I pushed it forward and I I tweaked it up a little bit and then I drilled it all right and then so when you uh, when you're assembling it there's there's a small screw and a long screw right I think you got to use the long screw right yeah. um, there's a you can install it so it doesn't fold or you can install it so it does fold all right and these are the what you have left over is what what you're supposed to use if it doesn't fold you got to use the longer bolt all right these are the smaller bolts right here you got to use the longer bolt you put a washer use the longer bolt go all the way through um, put the mirror and then there's a spring okay there's a spring here and then there's a uh, a locking nut nylon locking nut okay and that's what puts tension on it so you can actually swivel it all right and uh, that'll keep it from backing out too so so yeah uh, we'll have to see how they it holds up to high speeds okay this is way faster than the Sauron so <laughs> Well, it, it, it subjects it to uh, higher uh, speeds of air. <laughs> so let's say, all right, um, I can't go, oh, actually, I can go 80 miles an hour with this, so. But, yeah, um, I think it'll be fine. We'll see. All right, so, so yeah, that's how I, that's how I installed the, uh, the handguard mirrors, okay? And then if you want to adjust it, you just swivel this. That's the only adjustment you have. You have this, all right, and then you have this. All right, you could probably adjust it so you can you see yourself in the like you could use it as a vanity mirror if you wanted to. Okay, like we're on you're on the racetrack. I might try it. All right, you guys can watch me race. You can watch me ride, but it's just it looks so small on the camera when when thing. So probably not. <laughs> all right, but yeah, you use this to adjust it. All right, and and like you can see inside or outside, it's it's like at an angle. All right, so it's basically it's a blind spot mirror is what it is. All right, but. Um, that's really all you need. You just need to make sure nobody's in your blind spot, you know. I would still do a head check with these, with these mirrors, though. So, do a head check and then use this to check your blind spot. That kind of stuff. Or you move your head around so you can see. But everything is really small. Um, these are really hard to use at night. That's, um, and we'll find that out. <laughs> okay. Really, you only need them on the freeway, right? So, <laughs> alright. Alright. Thanks for watching. Hayes McGow.